The introduction of Hamburg wheel tracking to predict rut performance has added new complexity to designing acceptable rubberized or scrap tire modified asphalt. Some producers have found it challenging to design an asphalt mix that will withstand the minimum amount of loading required by their local agency. Crumb rubber modified mixes that have been previously acceptable have become unacceptable with this new rutting criteria. In this Leveraging Lestrada video, we're going to show you how to use the 0.45 power curve to optimize gap graded rubber asphalt modified gradations for optimal Hamburg performance. Just as important, we're going to show you how to properly maintain that desired gradation throughout production. Lestrada users can download the Lestrada templates and Excel file used in this video in the Customer Resource Center. Non Lestrada users can download the Excel file from our website. In this video, we're going to work with something we call shape factor. And a shape factor to us is a way to quantify numerically how gapped a gradation is. A way you can look at that is looking at a gradation plotted on the 0.45 power curve. The 0.45 power curve plots the percentage passing cumulatively of an aggregate size on the y-axis, and on the x-axis we have the sieve size, corresponding sieve size, raised to the 0.45 power. This blue line is the zero air voids curve, or the maximum density line. If this gradation were right on the maximum density line, we would think that the gradation would have nearly no space in its aggregate matrix for air or asphalt. Another way to look at it would be that the shape factor would be essentially the area represented by this red shading here on that same gradation curve. So let's look at that in La Strada. In some consulting projects, we started looking at the shape factor or the area between the gradation curve and the 0.45 power curve and its Hamburg wheel tracking results. And we started to find a correlation that the lower the shape factor, the better the Hamburg performance. With this information, you can then start to design mixes that will perform against the Hamburg wheel tracking test. And let's take a look at how you would do that. Here we are looking at a mix design in Lestrada. This mix design has four different aggregate trials on it. And let's just assume at this stage, we want to improve the Hamburg performance of this mix design. So we want to bring this red gradation curve even tighter to the 0.45 power curve. So how do we do that? Lestrada users are going to come over here and they're going to take that gradation and we're going to export it into an XML file. With the gap blending tool open, now you can go ahead, go to the developer tab and import the data that you exported. I'm going to go ahead and select that file. And now my data has been imported for me. If you're not using Lestrada, you can simply just go ahead and put in your own data at this stage too. There's a, another version of this spreadsheet where the word Lestrada is omitted from the file name. So just a couple of notes about using the spreadsheet. Like it says here, every single cell here needs a number. Otherwise the solver won't work. So this mix design is actually pretty tight to the four or five power curve. The shape factor is already 397.17. What does that number mean? It doesn't really have a correlation to real life. It's just a number. It's an index number, if you will. But I want to go ahead and see if we can get even tighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these settings here. And I notice this is mineral filler. These are the upper and lower limits that we're going to allow uh, possible blend values to go. So I'm going to set the upper limit on the mineral filler to 2%. I'm going to, this product is not being used, used. So I'm going to set the upper limit on this product to zero. These wrap products, I'm just going to leave at a hundred for now. And then we would put in here our specification limits. This spreadsheet has the solver tool built into it. And if you follow this link, you can see how to install the solver tool, but I'm going to go here to data solver, and then solve. And now the software has actually continued to change these values for me such that we have the smallest shape factor possible. And with these settings here, we can now get that number from the 390 range down to 18. 
And just one more note about the solver. Sometimes it doesn't give you an answer. And if it doesn't, you can manually change these numbers here. I can change this to five. I can change that to 10 and the spreadsheet will calculate the shape factor for me. If the solver can't give me an answer, I can continue to change these values until I see what the optimized value is. Now I've got a new mix design. I've optimized it. Let's say I go ahead, I run that mix design trial. My Hamburgs are performing and now we're going into production. Let's talk about what to do next. Okay, now I'm back with that same mix design inside of Lestrada in what we call a declaration. So now I've taken that mix design into production at a particular plant. I'm on the blend tab, I'm in production. I am concerned that my I need to make a gradation adjustment, but I don't wanna lose my Hamburgs. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna use shape factor and we're gonna propose gradation adjustments to make gradation like we have done commonly, but now we're gonna add one more level to it. We wanna test the shape factor. So we've created a simple report here in Lestrada. And when I run that report, this report now is calculating the shape factor for this mix design. Now, is 1160 a good number? The answer is, I don't know. But through experience, you will find a value just like I showed you in the previous example of the Lestrada report, where there was a value there. When they stayed above that number, they failed. And when that plant stayed below that number, it passed. So with a little bit of experience and a little bit of data mining, you should be able to find that value for yourself and keep yourself in specification. For both gradation and air voids and VMA and Hamburg. Thank you for watching. For more tips like this one, check out our other Leveraging Lestrada videos at lestradapartners.com slash resources. Lestrada Partners employs registered professional engineers and industry veterans that can help solve problems such as this one. You can schedule a free consultation with one of our engineers by going to our contact page. Thank you.